Disclaimer, we are not professionals. We are not financial advisors. This is not financial advice. Do your own due diligence and enjoy the video. You are now watching VV Vision. 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 What's going on, guys? VV Vision back with another video. Today, Ben has a surprise for us. So I guess we're <laughs> going to figure out what that is. If you didn't know, at 100 subscribers, we're going to be giving away two free NFTs. Nothing big, but at least something for free. So free NFTs are always good. <laughs> and Ben just told me at 50,000 subscribers, he will get a buzz cut. So definitely hit that subscribe button if you're not subscribed. <laughs> and let's get started in the video. All right. Let me share my screen. I'm, I'm unable to share my screen because I'm not host. I'll make you host. <laughs> oh, that's right. You can do it while recording. Look yeah. at that. Look at this time. I'm hyped for 50,000 subscribers and Ben the shave his head so all right you have to everybody close your eyes for like five seconds go all right keep them closed I'm closing right. oh, I'm not yeah I see you better not be looking I'm actually okay not <laughs> can I open 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 okay. all right wait I still messed it up but that one doesn't matter as much okay uh all right so I was watching this uh I don't know if the original channel is actually this Ecomi BV Omi, but whoever it is interviewing David Yu, shout out to that person because they're putting out really helpful content. Like, I don't know, just hearing from David Yu is nice. And I yeah. feel like they touch on so many different subjects. So we'll probably make some more videos about this in the future. But uh, I was watching Cavell Anderson, shout out Cavell Anderson and he was reacting to this and this specific part of his entire video I wanted to focus on because I got hyped once I looked into it. So David Yu says the Japanese IP that we're going to announce next is coming from the gaming industry. And so I, I don't know, I didn't research everything, but I went to this. I feel like a lot of people are familiar with this, uh, seeing all the different licenses that VB has. Uh, and Monster Hunter and Monster Hunter World Iceborne are both, I believe, uh, Japanese media franchise centered around a series of fantasy-themed action role-playing video games. Okay, so first off, we got this, like, you know, this type of video game, and then uh, looking into these specific games, uh, here's all right. So here's the collectibles for things in this game, but I just want to go here first. Look at how like I didn't know about that's, this game. That's remember I showed you that dragon. That's the dragon. That's definitely the Yo, dragon. Let's go. Oh my god. So that's clean. So okay, that like, like ice dragon is in one of the that one right there. That no, dragon's gonna be coming. That is awesome. That's I, like I didn't know about this game at all. Shout out to V because I feel like they exposed me to a lot of like artists and just media in general that I wasn't aware of and now like. But uh, I don't know. This like this makes me want to buy the game. Like this, I I never even heard about this, but the game looks sweet. Like let's uh, scroll down. So got some more video here. Uh, hopefully this isn't copyrighted. I don't know. But uh, yeah, it shouldn't be. This game looks like amazing, and I just think like I don't know if it'll just be collectibles, but imagine if like gamification was combined with collectibles in this case. Yeah. Like, like it, your collectible could be used in the game. So like, I could buy it on Switch, play the game, and like use some part of my collectible or something like that. I think that'd be clean. Yeah. But uh, yeah, we've got this one, which is Iceborne. And then the next one here is just uh, World, Monster Hunter World, I think. Maybe they're the same game with like just an expansion or something, but. Um, I think the I dragons would be sweet. Yeah. Like, I'm, just look at, like, I don't, when we look at the collectibles, like the level of detail is just crazy on all these different like creatures. And I think in like, vvar being able to walk around and look at it all would be so cool yeah but um yeah so that's pretty much what this surprise announcement was about because i feel like this is coming soon and i hope it is because 
I don't know. I just think a lot of these would be really sweet. This rock dude, like just all these different creatures from this game. I feel like I'm not even regularly into this type of stuff, but in BB platform, I feel like it could be sweet. Yeah, I, I honestly hope it's a blind box for this one. Yeah, that with like would, a uh, bunch of different random creatures. I'm still like uh, when we were talking about the Pokemon drop the other day, like being able to buy like uh, you know how you buy the packs. Like if you could buy a blind box pack with just random cards in it, and like the different chances or probabilities of getting like the ultra rare and everything. If they did that for this, that would be so sweet. Yeah. Okay. I mean, that's pretty much everything that I had to show. I'm just hoping I see an announcement within a couple weeks saying, like, I don't know, some kind of teaser for Monster Hunter or whatever. But, uh, yeah, I think, Carter, if you want to, if you want to do your thing, now's the time. All right. Drop a like if you liked it. Subscribe if you want to see more. Hit the little bell icon next to the subscribe button if you want to be notified whenever we post. And we'll see you guys in the next video. Let's go. Homie homies, let's go. Let's go homie homies.